Hey everybody, Ray me here. And what I want to talk about today is how you should be investing your retirement income. Where should you be putting your money that you're putting in your 401k, 403, um, your work uh, retirement plan, whatever it is that you actually have, your Roth IRA, whatever it is you're investing in, your retirement money, where should you be putting it? All right, so you might have heard things before like Warren Buffett recommends that um, people should, most of the population should be investing their money in the S&P 500 or that you know if Donald Trump would have put his initial money from his father in the S&P 500 he'd be more wealthier today you, you've heard things like that before um, and the interesting thing is they're actually probably right 90 some this is a made-up statistic 95 percent of the population that's investing in retirement should be putting their money in the S&P 500, following an S&P 500 index fund. Let's talk about why and let's talk about what that really means and why you should be doing it. All right, so first of all, the reason that Warren Buffett says this is because most investors don't have the time to literally sit there every single day and manage money. It's just not their, not what they're doing. So like when he passes away, he's putting a big inheritance for his wife just in an S&P 500 fund because he knows over time it's the best long-term investment. So let's talk about that. Why is that? Like what does that really mean? Okay, so for most people, like they're not, they just do not have the capacity to sit there and invest. If you don't know like what options are and, and uh, p and e ratio and you know derivatives and um you're not even sure what an etf is and just basic things like that you should be investing in the s p 500 it's super simple any person that's setting up themselves for retirement it's so easy you you don't need a financial advisor to do this in fact most financial advisors aren't going to beat the s p 500 that's why you don't really need one now if you have like all kinds of money coming in from different places there are situations where a financial advisor is awesome they can advise you how to spend money and certain things like that but for plain common folk who are making you know you know, if you're not making like $3 million a year, you don't need a financial advisor to help you plan your estate. If you're making a solid like 60, 100 grand, 150 grand, even less 20 grand, whatever it is you're making, ETF, S&P 500, very simple. You find a bank, Fidelity, Vanguard, that has a low cost index fund. And those are some of the big ones, Tiacref, Fidelity, Vanguard, whatever it is that your work has, they always have some kind of S&P 500 fund. Let's talk about what that, like why do you actually wanna do this? Why do you wanna invest in this? Okay, so if you look back at the S&P 500, S&P 500 was started in 1926. Um, since then, from 1926, has gained an average of around 10% interest. That's through the crashes and everything, year after year. 10% average interest, and you start talking about like compound interest, it's a lot of money, 10% per year. Okay, so even let's talk about like the crashes, like whoa, but the stock market crashed in 2008, right? And you hear about like when it crashed in like the late 20s and like the mid 80s and stuff like that, like what about all that stuff? So if you look at any of those time periods when it crashed in the late 20s, let's just take 19 or 2008, for example. I'll actually pull up the uh, statistics. Um, so in 2008, the market crashed 37% went down. So just imagine if you were trying to retire that year and or you were soon to be retirement, you lost like almost 40% of your retirement if you were invested in the S&P 500, 40%. But guess what? Let's say you kept your money in the market, which you should have no matter what. Within two years, you gained it all back. And since then, you've gained a significant amount of interest every year. In fact, last year, 2019, it went up 30%. So you, don't, you have to look at it in a long-term percentage, in the long term, not this short-term year to year. Yeah, some years it's gonna go down, but in general, it's went up since its inception, 10%. So that's why you put your money in there and you keep your money in there because on average you're gonna always make money it's a good bet it's a good risk and that's why people recommend it because it is a good risk that's why most people this is what they should be doing with their retirement it's why super smart people best investor warren buffett is telling you hey 
this is where you should be putting your money s p 500 so you you log into your work account like well you know like let's take like any work retirement plan you know i've been involved in corporate and public sector uh work retirement plans and you go in there's a list of like 20 to 50 funds i can invest in and it's very overwhelming for someone even talking to a financial advisor may not be the best because sometimes a financial advisor wants you to invest in a fund that they're going to make the most money from themselves not they're not necessarily always looking out for your interest sometimes they're looking out for their interest so you got to take that with a grain of salt like if a fine if i'm going to a financial advisor and they're charging me one percent per year they better be beating the s p 500 by at least one percent to make it worthwhile having them otherwise I wouldn't do it um, but you you know you get this list of like 50 funds and it can be very confusing so if you're at like Tia Kref or Vanguard or Fidelity or whatever it is that your um, retirement plan is in there's always one of those funds is one that tracks the S&P 500 that's the fund you choose that's where you start sticking your money. That's where you keep sticking it. Now, you become a more savvy investor. You're very interested in it. This is something you're following. Maybe you start branching out. But even when we start talking about like diversification, diversification is like me starting to invest in like real estate or me starting to invest in this or that, not necessarily changing where my 401k allocation is going. And it can, but this is when you start talking about being a more savvy investor. For most people, just put your money in the S&P 500. You don't even have to look at it. Just sleep better at night. One simple thing, that's where it just keeps going. I'm not doing this you know, to talk right now to talk about like how to save and how much you should be saving. That's another time, another place. But right now, main message of this, invest in the S&P 500 with your retirement. That's where you put your money. Long term, it's gonna go up. That's why people like Warren Buffett are investing there. Thank you.